Okay, here we go, friends. Doc South with you. And I I, I guess there's been uh, quite a bit of lottery fever. There's some biggie going off where, again, uh, an absolute king's ransom could go to the lucky winner yeah, after taxes. <laughs> after taxes, you'd probably be lucky to get 40 cents. But the uh, no, I, I, I think it's no matter what, it's, it's a big chunk of change if you win. But the chance is like... Yeesh, Forget it. <laughs> you stand. You don't stand a whole whole lot of a chance. Of course, you, if you don't buy a ticket, you stand absolutely no chance. So you know, I, sure, I, I'll probably go buy a ticket. Why not? But I two things. I remember a fella came into a store I had in that big antique shop that Sandy and I had, and. Uh, I don't know. There must have been a lottery fever du jour going on that particular day. There was some big win available. And I was talking with the guy, boy, wouldn't it be nice to win that? Uh, whew. He says, well, he says, let me tell you. He says, I won. Believe it or not, he says, I won. Like It was like a million bucks in the lottery. I forget the exact amount. It was pretty long ago. And he... Uh, I said, you did? He says, yeah. And he says, I'll tell you the truth. It, it, it reached a point where I wished I hadn't. He said, number one, there's taxes. And then number two, he says, number two through 10,000, you get all these people coming after you, wanting you to either give them money or invest in some scheme they've got. And he says, you aren't, you, you reach a point where you, you think you're going to go nuts with all these people with their hands out. He, and and he says, if you don't, if, if you say no, which you pretty much have to do, if you say no, they're, they, they're just thunderstruck at, at your meanness. And he, he said, I lost so many friends. He, he said it was just, it was just awful. And uh, I think he may have even said he had an ex-wife. <laughs> And she kind of got after him. And, you know, he said it, it was just, I don't know if that's the case, but it, entirely, but but he said it was just hideous, just hideous. And then he said, here comes this giant parade of investors um, that, you know, can almost guarantee that that, if you just put 500,000 into this fund, well, by gum, you're going to, and he's, oh, he said it was just, just horrible. And and he said also it's it's absolutely astronomical to win. And 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 then there you are. If you do win, you're he said in a way, he said I, I it, it reached a point where I kind of wished I had not won. That's what he said. That's what he said. And I could see it. I could see this happening. Well, what about a lottery like this? I mean couldn't there be a way, I, I'm not a mathematician, I, but there's got to be a way where you could have this humongous pool that everyone, that people put into, anyone who wants to, puts in. And you could buy a, a thousand, maybe the tickets are five dollars each. Well, I, again, I'm just throwing this up for conjecture. And there's a fair amount of numbers available, but th that you've got to... Uh, uh, come through with. But if you could somehow, in, in other words, what they do is there'd be so many people in it, but they all stood a pretty good chance of winning. Now, not, not to the point where the lottery commission wouldn't make money for the state. But the thing is, is that there would be this way for all these numbers to come up and there would be a lot of winners. When it when it was all said and done and drawn, I mean there might be just one winner, but there'd be a way for all sorts of people to win, not a not not a, you know half a half a billion, but maybe ten thousand, maybe twenty five thousand dollars, ten thousand let's say, and there'd be and that might be the high prize, yeah. Others maybe won uh, won a hundred or or a thousand. Um, I, I I know myself, if all of a sudden I won 10,000 bucks, boy, it would help. That's all I can say. It would help a lot. 
And I imagine anyone, just about anyone could say that. God, boy, if I had 10 grand right now, I'd go out and I'd, I'd, I'd buy a, a better used car. I'd, I'd pay my rent for a year, you know, or, or whatever. You see what I'm saying? It would get, I don't know, maybe you call it the monkey off your back <laughs> lottery. <laughs> it, could, it could be some logo with a chimp handing out tickets or, uh, you know, little packs of, uh, you know, uh, 10 $1,000 bills to people. Uh, you know, for the first commercial. I, I, I would think myself, I would rather take a chance on winning that than winning all that, all that, um, all that big pile of money. Because chances are, you're probably never going to come close, which is fine. I mean, you, you still, you were in it. But I would think you would do so much better if you had a chance, if a single ticket had a relatively good chance of winning 10 grand. <clears throat> I don't know. I, there, there, I, I may not be saying this right. A, a mathematician might rake me over the coals for what I'm trying to uh, put forth, but I could... It just seems to me it would be a, a much better deal than to be a billionaire. It would be, I think, even nicer to have 10, 20 grand in your, um, in your pocket, to, you know, to go after a credit card bill that's, or maybe uh, you needed some money for a car, or, uh, hey, that might be a nice down payment on a house trailer for people, you know, or whatever, or one heck of a trip to uh, Disney World. You see what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud. And uh, then, then when it's all over, you spend it, well, you, or you've invested it to make your life a little nicer, a little more comfortable. Hey, you go back to work. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying. Uh, again, uh, it, I, I would think it would be a better way to go. Maybe there's a lottery out there that already does that. I don't really play the lottery that much, but it would be, um, I think it would be a better deal. My, my, again, I'm just throwing it out. I should throw it out. <laughs> I, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Oh, anyway, I'll see you later. Thank you, friends. Uh, good luck. And well, God bless. Bye now.